two gears are adjusted so the smaller gear drives the larger one. So we have a smaller gear and we have a larger gear. If the radar of the gears are 7.2 inches and 2.1 feet, and the smaller one rotates through 50 degrees, through how many degrees for the larger one? So in this case, they both are rotating, and they give you two uh, radar, a radius and another radius. Now, if you notice, they are in different uh, measurements. So therefore, I need to decide, do I need to convert this one to feet or this one to inches? So in this case, I'm going to convert uh, the feet into inches. So I'm going to make a conversion table. So I have 2.1 feet, and I'm going to make a conversion to inches. Feet on top, so therefore I'm going to place my feet on the bottom and my inches on top. And I need to be able to find an equivalency. I know that one foot is equal to how many inches? 12. So that I have a multiply 2.1 multiplied by 12. And that gives you 25.2. So that'll be 25.2 inches because your feet cancel out. So therefore we have the smaller one will be 7.2 and the larger one will be 25.2 inches. Now both gears, whatever they have in common is whenever they rotate, they are going to have the arc in common. So as they rotate, the arc will be common. So therefore I'm going to find the arc length for the first one. And remember, your arc length is S is equal to arc theta. And once I find the arc length for the first one, I'm going to use that arc length to be able to find the degree on the second one. They do give us the radius. So therefore, S is equal to 7.2 inches. And the angle multiplied by 50 degrees, that's what the angle is given to us. But remember that your angle has to be in radians. So I'm just going to make my conversion here. And degrees will be 180 degrees is equal to 1 pi. So that is equivalent. Pi is the same thing as 180 degrees. From here, I can go and type it in the calculus. My degrees will cancel. I can cancel a 0. And I can just multiply it out. So I multiply 7.2 times 5 times pi and whatever I get I'm going to divide it by 1 by 18 which will be 2 pi so therefore s is equal to 2 pi so 2 pi inches that is the arc length for the smaller one now, I'm going to use the same information to be able to find the angle here. So we have S is equal to R theta. R S will be 2 pi because they share the same arc length. R is 25.2 and theta is what we're looking for. So therefore, I can solve for theta by dividing by 25.2. Divide by 25.2. The 25.2 cancels out. So therefore, theta is equal to 2 pi divided by 25.2. .5, so I have uh, 2 multiplied by pi, or 2 pi, and I'm going to divide it by 25.2, which is 0 0.25. Now, I want to be able to change this into degrees, because this is in radians. So I'm going to make my conversion chart. And my radians are on top, so therefore I'm going to place my radians on the bottom. And that's equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, I'm going to go and multiply by uh, 180. And I'm going to divide it by pi. So therefore, my degrees, my, the angle will be 14.29 degrees. Remember, if you wanted to leave it as 2 pi over 25.2, then in that case, your pi's will cancel out. But since we change it to a decimal, 
do not cancel out your pi because there's no longer a pi in here. We already calculated the pi. So you need to be able to multiply and then divide. 